and to thank you for just this nice day that we have to worship you and glorify you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm going to talk about 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 7. You guys want to look it up? I'll read it. It um, starts out, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power and lost strongholds. Five, we demolish, every arg- we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So I just think this is a good reminder that though we live in the world, we aren't supposed to be of the world. And that we have weapons from God that have divine power. Not necessarily actual weapons to fight with, but we have different powers from God that help us in the world that we live in. And then since we're from God, we can demolish arguments and pretensions that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. A pretension is a claim. So basically we're fighting against arguments and claims that people make against God and proving them that they are false. It also says that we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. If you think about this literally, like we were talking at leadership, you might picture something like what Nick said about a bird cage with all these little thoughts flying around inside of it. I think that's a good way to think about it literally. But after you stop thinking about it like that, you think about how really hard this actually is. Like every thought you think, is it really obedient to Christ? So like if, and a different version says that thoughts probably refers to plots or designs. So whenever you come up with like, if your sister's mean to you and you come up with plots to get your, your revenge, <laughs> then those thoughts and those plots wouldn't be obedient to Christ. And we just need to submit. And it also set, so that would mean that we need to submit both of our bodies, not just, and also we need to submit our minds to Christ. And the, submitting your mind is probably a whole lot harder because like all the things that you think about, how much of those things are actually being obedient to Christ. So, yeah, if you, th- the thoughts that you have, you just need to make it obedient to Christ, which is a really hard thing to do, but it's something that we all need to try to do.